Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to create radial designs using our names. And I'm just going to do this at the beginning of the year to get to know each other a little bit. Um, for me to get to know you if I don't already know you. What we're going to do is we're going to put a dot somewhere on your page. Now, this dot is then going to be our vanishing point, something that all of the other lines are going to go into. It's going to create a radial design and a vanishing point. And you can put your dot anywhere you want. I'm going to put my dot right here in the corner. Now, from that dot, you're going to have between 10 and 14 lines radiating from that dot. Now it also needs to be an even number so that we can create a, a radial pattern, an AB radial pattern. One, two, So there's 10 radiating lines. Then in each, uh, then in every other space, you are going to write your name and you need to make sure that it fills that whole space. So in these long lines, your letters are going to be really big. In these little spaces, your letters are going to be pretty little. So I'm going to fill my spaces now with my name. All right, so now I have my name in all of these different spaces. Then we're going to create these to be block letters. And to do that, you're just going to draw inside where there's um, a closed space. You just draw the shape of that closed space smaller inside. So for this closed space, it kind of looks like a D, so I draw a smaller D inside. For the O's, I just draw a smaller O inside. And I'm just going to go around and do that to all of those letters. And then you can do that even for the rest of these. The S is a little bit tricky though. So we'll do, if you've got an S, we'll do that in a minute. Otherwise, look. Um, and see if you can do that for your other spaces. So see this M makes a space on the inside of it. So I'm just gonna draw basically a little M underneath and I have a block letter. And with the K, I just draw a little bump there and a little triangle there and I have a block letter. Triangle, triangle. And I have an N block letter. All right, and then the S's is a little bit tricky. What you do is you just draw a line down and curve it around. Draw a line down and curve it around. Draw a line down and curve it around. And if you need to bring this up a little bit and then erase, you can do that. I'm going to go in around each one. I'm going to check to make sure each letter is now a bubble letter. All right. Fantastic. And then trace it with Sharpie.
All right, great. Now that that's done, we're going to set it off to the side and we're going to start creating our own visual symbols. Because in each one of these remaining spaces here, we're gonna create a symbol that has something to do with us. Something about our personality, something where even if they didn't see our names on here, they could look at the symbols that we've created and be like, oh yeah, that's totally that person because I know they're really into that sort of thing. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you an example. You're gonna get a piece of sketch paper here and you're gonna start coming up with maybe a list of words that describe you. Okay, so for like me, obviously, teacher, artist, mom, um, learner, leader, peaceful, loving. So these are things, these are words that I like to describe myself. And now, for each one of these words, I need to come up with a picture for this. So, maybe for artist, I'm just gonna create maybe a paintbrush, that's an idea. Or maybe a bucket of paint, that's a possible idea maybe. Um, I think maybe for mom, I have like a little baby here. A little swaddled baby there. Learner, maybe books. An apple is typically a symbol for a teacher. People would be able to recognize that as a symbol. I think I'm going to combine these two to create sort of a new symbol. pacifier here. Maybe that could be my mom symbol because my babies are babies still. Eh, nah, I don't really like that. I don't really like that kind of book. Maybe I'll do a different kind of book. Because this is the space to make mistakes. This is where you get to have failed ideas and make mistakes and just kind of play with different ideas. And you can cross things out that you don't really like. Like, I don't like the way that paintbrush looks, so I'm not going to do that. But maybe paint. Maybe I'll do, like, one of those traditional palettes. Eh, that doesn't really look good. Maybe I'll stick with the paint. But let's see. I'm going to need at least... How many spaces do I need to fill here? One, two, three, four, five. So I need at least five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got five. So now I can take these symbols and I can start putting them in here. Now, we're going to, just like your letters started off big and got smaller, you can draw your symbols nice and big out here and then have them get smaller in here. And you're just gonna have them kinda like look like they're floating around in space.
and you can go ahead and do pencils all the way around first and then go, to go over it in Sharpie or the other way around where you can go do a pencil then Sharpie it. So I'm just going to do that just so you can get an idea right off. And the nice thing about Sharpies is after you get done sharpening everything, you can go back and you can use your eraser and you can just start erasing the whole space. And then it gives you a really nice clean space with no yucky pencil marks. And of course, the lighter you draw with your pencil, the easier it is to erase. So then you're going to go to your next space and you're going to pick out a different symbol for you. And I think I'm going to do my teacher symbol. Oh, and I just remembered I should, if I put mom, I should probably also put wife. And I think that that would be good to have a, just a diamond ring there. All right, but I'm going to do the teacher symbol, which is just an apple, in the next one. Nice and big, starting off in the outside, getting smaller as I go in. If you need a little Sharpie for this little area, I can get you a little Sharpie too. One of those finer pins. Okay, and then I can erase the pencil marks and move on to the next two. Okay, so here is my drawing and I've already colored in my symbol spaces. And the last thing I need to do is I need to pick out a color for my names. Now, of course, I don't want to pick out any of the colors that I've already used. So, I can't do yellow or blue or red or this pastel green or brown. So, I can choose, and I can't do black either because that will just fade into my um, drop shadow. So, I'm going to go ahead and look at the colors that I have. and remove the colors that I cannot use. So the colors I have left, and I think from the colors that I have left, I'm going to choose to use purple. I like purple too, so that works out. And then, just as you've been doing this whole time, very carefully, Color in all of the negative space, making the negative space a positive space now. I'm just going to color this whole thing in now. <laughs> 